So for today, we're going to be looking at the new ornaments that the Titans got. Oh my God, Titans, you guys got some pretty dope sets. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really does help the channel grow. Not only that, if you guys uh, like the content, consider hitting the bell notification. I post a lot of content. I think I've been posting at least two videos a day, if I remember correctly, for the past month, maybe. So I have content always going up well usually always going up on my channel which is very fashion related but i'm also going to start expanding to other games and more stuff within the game of destiny 2 so like going through guides like maybe solo flawless guides or just content in general like that so before we get started to the ornament that we're going to be looking at let me actually quickly note that the hunters you guys already have your video it's right here i totally forgot to do this uh this is right after i finished the titan video so Hunters, we go through all of the new ornaments that you guys got, which is literally two. Everyone got two. But we go through the ornaments, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and you guys get an example set from me. So definitely check that video out if you guys want to see some of those. But Titans, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate it because, again, like I said, this is right after. So let me know what you guys think about some of the example sets that I made. I definitely like the first and the second one a lot. That being said, I think the second one is just almost damn near perfect i just would switch out the helmet like i said in that video you guys haven't heard me say that yet you guys will see from past tony so i appreciate you guys let's get into it titans let's talk about your new lorelei splendor ornament adamantin rebirth so like i am a pretty big fan of this ornament i'm actually like really happy with it but i also really hate it and for for those of you who have known my content for a while you guys probably know what it is but I definitely think like off the bat it looks amazing it's such a dope or it's so good it is one of my favorite ornaments from this season just because it looks menacing honestly the helmet ornaments that we got this season have been amazing unfortunately warlocks you guys did not get any you guys caught two arms and quite frankly I only think one of them is good but for how it shaders this is where it gets a problem um Ancient Wisdom is going to be the first one you guys will see. And probably, we'll probably stay with Ancient Wisdom for a while. Unfortunately, Ancient Wisdom is a green glow. You don't see any green glow for this one. Let's go to the next one. Echoed Anger. Echoed Anger does not have red in there. Does not have yellow there either. So you guys might be seeing a trend. Um, Abyssinian Gold is not a good example because it does have red. But it's not that tint of red. But then we go to Cryptic and seeing it, you guys will know. Okay, this is wrong. Because unfortunately, the green... Or not green. The red like slits on the face don't change color and the yellow dots on each side do not change color so unfortunately this is a worse version of the hunter one because the hunter one well to be fair the hunter one didn't have a glow but it shaded really well this one i think shaders pretty decently i say decently because the, there's a lot of off color in this helmet and i'm not the biggest fan of off color in the, pretty much anything aside uh, the only way I'm okay with it is if it's a like complementary type armor or color where this is just like the main helmet is the off color and then portions of like the spikes and some of the actual helmet is the main color and even technically that's even like a big technical because like the slit in the actual forehead like from the from the like face all the way up yeah that's that's white but then you go to the sides of it it's silver that's off color as well and an off color that you don't really ever see so unfortunately it's just one of those situations where this is an awesome ornament like i'm not even kidding like this is one of the coolest ornaments unfortunately the glow is trash and there's off colors in here and there's even in like an off off color on this one you can definitely see it with ancient wisdom a lot more because it's an actual green there so yeah, it's very unfortunate because not only will you be really problematic with the shade, the glows, but the shadering of it as well is going to be really annoying because if you're not combining off colors and even off off colors and then the main color being like almost complementary at this point, then it's going to be problematic. All this to say is just shaders terribly. As for the example set, this is where you kind of can work around it. For me, I ended up using Radiant Breaker gauntlets and mark so that way i can have some of that red and then i ended up going for new monarchy diamonds because new monarchy diamonds has some gold in there to get away with that yellow so that's how i got away with this annoying paint scheme or the helmet i should say 
but i will say i i feel like players shouldn't have to do this to make an ornament look good the ornament should already look good and take shade as well so that way people don't have to basically macgyver something that looks cool although there's an argument to be said that if you can make an ornament that shaders terribly look good, then that means you have pretty high skill in making sets and whatnot. That being said, I think that's a weak argument. So for the actual, the other, as for the actual other sets, it's going to be God's main plate for the chest piece. And then the nightly noir greaves for the boots. Again, I actually like this set quite a bit. I would actually use this for my Lorelei Splendor, even though I already have like two really good Lorelei Splendors for the base look and the ornament. But this one would definitely be one that I would keep in the back pocket just to be like, oh, like if I want to try something new or look, look at something else instead of just the basic one that I've done, then I would definitely like switch to it. But I don't know, man, like the base look of Lorelei looks amazing. The ornament, the first ornament that I got honestly it's probably the best ornament for Lorelei splendor and you guys cannot tell me otherwise you're literally a fucking um shield maiden bro it's wild so let me know what you guys think about this one i definitely like this ornament but if it shadered well or better i should say and if it took glows i think it would it would have been the best helmet for titans for sure and then last but not least we have Hollowfire heart i definitely think this is cool. I like the way they went with this one. Instead of going for another like fucking fire or lava look, they ended up going for something cool. Like, oh my God. Like I'm also, I'm almost just tempted just to switch to the example set because I feel like the example set came out so fucking cool. But I definitely think this, whoever designed this one definitely needs a raise because this one looks amazing. So obviously you're going to want to combine this with pretty much anything Rasputin themed because that's kind of like the whole shtick of it. But for shadering, let's talk about that first. I think shadering, it looks fine. Um, I'm not mad. Uh, the main color that you will see is the main color for Ancient Wisdom. We're going to look at that for a bit. Uh, you see that gold, which is the main color. Then you see that green, which is like the off, off color, which I don't know how I feel about that because you, not only do you see it in the front chest, but you also see it on the shoulders as well, um, which isn't like the super biggest deal breaker to me because as long as the main portion of that chest plate is the main color then i can really work around that and in the sides you will see that like copper color which is the off color which i don't really care about um as for the other colors you guys will see right now the other one that i probably will want to talk about will, will be cryptic insignia but i'll give my 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 editing self some time to do some editing stuff so that way it's not annoying to do the other shaders as well but overall i definitely think this is really really cool cryptic insignia you guys will see it's it's a little weird um so it's not terrible it's just that you that blue color honestly i will never use this with cryptic insignia just because it looks kind of strange i'm gonna be honest with you guys but i think it still looks decent but i definitely will not combine it with cryptic and or yeah I'm, I'm not gonna combine it with cryptic insignia some of the shaders you could do will be impair the empirical imperative which let's just look at the example set now this looks amazing so for the helmet jimson night helm is what we're using be aware that jimson night helm has a really weird interaction with the aurora sacrifice which i don't even think i've said yet that's the ornament's name um it has a re really cool interaction i don't know if bungie will fix this because i don't know if it's a bug or not but i don't think they should because it looks amazing for the arms Mid midnight exigent gauntlets for the boots braytech snow boots and then for the or for the mark techie and regalia's mark so this is a combination that I've slowly noticed that I'm liking a lot is taking a regalia's mark with the Braytech uh, snow boots. I love how the crotch plate is almost perfectly aligned with the boots. I think it looks amazing and you will see me use that quite a bit. Like I'm not even kidding. There's an, there's an example set that I made for one of the exotic videos. I don't even remember which one it was. I use that set, those two combinations in that one as well, just because it's such a good combination. Not only that, I actually think Tekken Regalia's mark looks really good with the Aurora Sacrifice. Uh, Midnight Exigen is also probably the best arms you could use if you want to go for a Rasputin look. And then honestly, the only one that's kind of off would be the Jensen Knight Helm. That being said, if you want to use a good helmet for that, just use the Midnight Exigen helmet. I think that one would be really, really good. I would stay away from the the season of the seraph pieces just because 
the helmet i don't think is going to look good with this set i don't think the arms are going to look good with this set i think the chest piece would be the only set that i would say would look good with it but you're using aurora sacrifice so you can't uh boots i was never a big fan of and the mark maybe maybe so that's why i'm not using any of these season of the serif pieces just because me personally i don't like the helmet which is the one piece where i was like i hope this looks good and i was like it looks whatever's so again my whole thing would just be just put on midnight x again helmet and that one will just look amazing overall so again i think empirical imperative is just gonna look good pretty much anything any shader from season of the serif i think is just gonna look banging with this ornament so titans let me know what you guys think i definitely think you guys got a like a really cool sets and really cool ornaments it's just the fact that like one of them shaders really really terribly and the other one is a such a specific such a specific like ornament that it's gonna look weird when you don't combine it with rasputin pieces so titans let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later